Hello everyone, my name is Alex Kondi and today I'm going to show you how to rearrange the layout in Godot Engine. I am currently using Godot Engine 2.1.1 stable, so the default layout may change in the future, but the way of rearranging it is probably the same or awfully close. So, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to move our scene tree here. I don't want it on the right side, I want it on the top of the left side and move the file system below it. So, in order to do that, I'm just going to click the little triangle here next to the scene. And that's going to give a, us a visual representation of where it would be placed. Now, I want it to be on the top of the left side here. So, if I were to click here, they would overlap each other and you will get tabs. But I don't want tabs here. I want to see them both at the same time. So, I'm going to select file system now. And I click triangle and click on the bottom here, on the left side. So, now it will appear at the bottom here. Now, if I were to click on the left side here, they will both take a column each and fill the screen, regardless if you're clicking on the bottom here or on top. As long as there's only one, it's gonna fill the entire screen. However, if it's two, it's gonna fill the part of the screen you have selected. So now, the file system will be at the bottom here. And that's how you want the left side. How about the right side? Well, we have an expector and a node. In node here, you can see groups and signals, usually when you select a node. In fact, let me just show you here. I'm gonna create a control node here, just to have something. As you can see on the right side here, on the nodes, we now have signals that the node can give out and we have groups that we can add to it. Now, I do want to see the expected view at all times, but it would be handy also to have the node visible. So I'm just gonna move node down and apparently it already is, which means I'm going to move the inspector up, right? So, now I don't need this to be this big, I'm just gonna make it compact here. Yeah, it's good enough. You, you probably want to use this often, except when working with buttons or other GUI elements. And we're done with our layout. Now we have to remember to save it, otherwise you'll have to redo this every single time you create a new project and you probably don't want that. And that is done by clicking the settings here. Then you go into editor layout and select save layout. Now this is a default layout, so make sure to save it as default in order to override the default layout. Default editor layout overridden, which means every time you start a new project now. I'm gonna close this, I'm going to reopen this. Now, I did not change the project or anything here, except opening and closing the previous project, but now the layout sticks. And if you have time, check out the other editor settings you can configure, because there are a lot of them. A lot of them. You just know that you have a lot of options in Godot Engine to make it appear just the way you want it. If this video was helpful to you, please hit the like button. If you haven't already, subscribe, and I will see you in a future video. Bye-bye.